Hello everyone, Namaskar. So today we are going to integrate 10 power 4 x. So what we have done till now, we have integrated successfully up till 3 powers of 10. That is what you did when you had integral of 10 x dx. This is minus log cos x or log secant x. But how you got that? You write this as integral of sin x divided by cos x. And then you uh, proceed by taking cos x as t. I will not tell uh, afterwards. You can do this. Now when you saw integral of tan square x. How you proceeded? You wrote this as. Secant square x minus 1. And then because you know integral of secant square x directly that is tan x integral of 1 is x. So you can solve this also. And the last video we saw how we can integrate tan cube x. It was interesting as because we because individual secant was not present in our problem. So we can't take secant x as t. The other option remained to take tan x as t. But we needed to create the setup for that. So we wrote this as tan square x and tan x. Then we wrote this tan square x as secant square x minus 1 and tan x. And rest is history. You can uh, always go and watch that video. You can solve it from it. I hope it's clear to you. Now today the power has increased by 1 again. We have got tan power 4x in front of us. So how we can move ahead with this? Again, because the power is even, you can't think of secant x as a substitution because you need, you can uh, have a tan x from here, tan cube x will remain, but you can't generate secant x individually from here. So again, the story will uh, revolve around tan x only. Let's uh, generate something. Here you will have a dx also. So, what we can do? We can at least write this as tan square x times tan square x. One tan square x can be written as secant square x minus one. We don't need to write both of them because then it will again be a problem. So just writing any one of them as secant square x. What's next? Uh, we can multiply it inside. You will get tan square x. Secant square x dx. Minus integral of. You multiply tan square x by secant square x. And you multiply this. Now it is looking a bit easier for you because tan derivative is secant square x. So if you, original one was i, you can write this as i1 minus i2 and you can proceed because these two are simple integrals. Let's uh, solve for i1. It is tan x. tan square x and secant square x dx. It's easy, right? Uh, you can take tan x as t so as to get secant square x dx as dt. Now this becomes uh, t square dt simply which is nothing but t cube by 3 and t was nothing but you can take c1 as a constant because you are going to get two constant one each from i1 and i2 we can merge that to some other constant c later on. So this will be tan cube x divided by 3 plus a constant c. This is what uh, we got for i1. Now let's uh, solve for i2 as well. What was your i2? Your i2 was tan square x. 
इंटीग्रल ऑफ टेन स्क्वायर एक्स डी एक्स अगेन दिस इज नॉट एट ऑल डिफिकल्ट दैट्स वाई आई रिकेप वेन आई डिस्कस्ड आफ्टर टेन आई जस्ट डीड अ रिकेपुलेशन ऑफ टेन स्क्वायर एक्स सो दिस आइडिया इज वर्किंग फॉर अस इन दिस क्वेश्चन सो वी रोट दिस एज सीकेंड स्क्वायर एक्स माइनस वन सीकेंड स्क्वायर एक्स इंटीग्रेशन यू नो टेन एक्स एंड दैट ऑफ वन इज एक्स सो दिस यू आर गेटिंग ना फाइनली your i was i think i1 minus i2 yes so your i was i1 minus i2 so what is your i it is tan cube x by 3 tan cube x by 3 plus c1 and your i2 came out to be tan x minus x plus c2 time to merge the two constant out there so you'll get uh, tan cube x by 3 plus tan x minus x c1 plus c2 i can write as some other constants fine so this is the complete story for us It is tan cube x by three minus tan x. Uh, you have to uh, see. Okay, okay. You need to be careful uh, because it is i one minus i two. So it should be minus of whatever you got in i two. So tan x minus x plus c two. Fine. So you have to be careful out there. So. let's do it once again so your i is tan cube x by 3 minus tan x plus x and again c1 minus c2 is some other constant c fine so this is all about this problem now we have moved till four powers next up we'll see the same for cot also we have covered till two powers of cot till now and then you will see cot cube x cot power 4x so again problem was looking not that easy but the hint was there at least that we can't take secant x st because secant x tan x cannot be generated here so anyway we need to rearrange this so that we can take the substitution of tan x st okay so this was two simple integral which we can solve individually and finally merge it to get our final integral so you can uh, watch out more such problem in the playlist integration 2023 do share it to your friend thanks again